Hey guys, I thought I would do another fun tutorial and this one is from Twilight, one of my favorite looks from the movie. So what you wanna do is you first wanna prime and prep your skin with a really great moisturizer. I'm also gonna cut the red in my skin because the vampires obviously are very, very um, white. <laughs> Here's a little bit of cream highlighter just to add a little bit of that kind of diamond shine. This is a Ket foundation and it's actually a wax based foundation and I'm gonna use this one because it has a tendency to stay on a lot longer because it's waterproof. I'm gonna set it with a little bit of translucent powder all over. And you wanna do this kind of generously. Then I'm gonna use an eyeshadow in this kind of great purple color by Tarte. And we're gonna go ahead and define that crease and bring it underneath. For this look, you wanna bring the first shade of eyeshadow out kind of very far to make this kind of triangle out on the outside of the eye. Now we're just gonna go in with a deeper purple and do the exact same thing, but we're gonna bring it to the middle of the eyelid. We're gonna bring it underneath as well. Again, just kind of adding that hollow, um, you know, dead look to this um, eyeshadow. Then I'm gonna pat some black into just the outer corner just to add definition and make those eyes look a little bit more hollow and sunken in. Also adds drama. You wanna blend this in and bring this underneath the eye as well. Now take a clean fluffy brush and blend all of these colors together. And do this in backward and forth motions and don't be afraid to kind of bring this out farther than you normally would with your regular eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna wipe away any kind of fallout. This is where the translucent powder, really nice and thick underneath your eye comes into play. Then we're gonna go in with a kind of waterproof pencil and really accentuate the um, rim of the eye. It's not gonna really be brought out too far. We just really wanna intensify the lash line. Going back and forth motions, and you can tell I'm not going all the way into the center of my eye. Now take another clean pencil brush and kind of smudge the eyeliner. Rim the inner waterline of your eye and a couple coats of mascara, top and bottom, before you put the lashes on. And the bottom, you can really go for it. Here we're gonna make the eyebrows really nice and defined because those vampires are like picture perfect, so we want those to be perfect as well. Put on your favorite kind of brand of lashes here. These are just kind of really nice and fluffy ones. We're gonna use a highlighter to add a little bit of height underneath the brow and continue our foundation application. And as you can tell, this foundation is quite a bit lighter, so I'm gonna bring it all the way down into my skin. Now I'm gonna apply the concealer a little bit differently. I'm not gonna apply it underneath the eyes because when we do, it's gonna take out the hollowness. Now you're gonna apply a little bit of brown shadow, again, just to add a little bit of more dead look. Contour aggressively. This is where we really want the face to have a lot of shape on both sides. Do on the chin, underneath the chin, and on the forehead. I'm actually going to contour my nose. Make sure you use a small brush and really blending downward. I'm gonna take a really great raspberry lip stain here by Laura Mercier and define the Cupid's bow. And there you go, how good. I hope you enjoyed this look and thank you so much for watching and have a great Halloween, you guys. Oh, my God.